Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a foundation. I'm going to be reviewing the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation. So just bear with me, actually. I'm trying to work out some things with the lighting and like a new white backdrop. So I have to kind of like figure it out and figure out what looks best. So we're just gonna jump right into this video. So if you are interested in watching this foundation review, then please keep on watching. All right, so here we have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet skin foundation so this foundation claims to be 24 hours and today we are going to test it but we're not gonna we're not gonna test it for 24 hours you know what I'm saying like it's a Monday and mama gotta go to sleep it's not like it's like a Saturday and I'm going out and maybe I can test it but I'm definitely gonna try to do between 8 to 10 hours it's actually just hit 2 o'clock right now so maybe let me do the math because I'm just terrible at math. So like around maybe 10 o'clock, I'll review this foundation. If not 8 o'clock, which will be which will be like 6 hours around there. Whatever. The point is, I'm going to be testing some of the wear. And in my opinion, I feel like after 3 to 5 hours, your makeup starts to look different. Sometimes it looks better and your skin looks a little bit more hydrated and dewy and just like, you know, looking extra good. And sometimes it just, you know, your foundation just starts breaking apart. It honestly just all depends depends on like if you're sweating, what you're doing, and things like that. So if you do not know this about me already, I have dry skin. So although a lot of the times I try to go for foundations that are hydrating, literally like on the label it says hydrating or like moisturizing or whatever. But I don't try to rule out like matte foundations and things like that because I do like wearing a matte foundation when I'm out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm going to be doing. It's summertime. I'm going to be sweating right now. So I picked this foundation up because I wanted to review it and I was very curious. So if you're wondering what color I picked up, I picked up the color Y455. And some of the things that it says in the back of the box, you know, that the foundation claims to be doing besides it being matte velvet and a 24 hour lasting foundation. It says it contains the latest generation flexi fit mesh complex. Okay, which adapts to the movements of the skin for more comfortable wear. So I'm guessing if you're doing a lot of you know, moving around and a lot of smiling and a lot of laughing, hopefully it'll move to your skin. I don't know. The buildable texture won't clog pores and is easy to apply and blend, leaving your complexion looking velvety without a mask effect. The waterproof, oh, we are waterproof, very nice. Formula makes for a long lasting flawless finish and is enriched with cinnamon and ginger to be respectful of your skin. But why do I like the way this sounds? Like why does this sound so nice and so promising? So you can wear this foundation out if you are planning on swimming. Oh, very, very nice. So on my face right now, all I have is just like my regular moisturizer, nothing else. Nothing crazy, didn't want to do anything crazy to my face because obviously I don't want to like manipulate the formula of that foundation. I want to give it like a true honest review, you know? Sometimes certain things that you put on your face can like have an effect on the foundation that you're wearing. So I don't know if you're supposed to shake it. It doesn't say you're supposed to shake it, but I just have like a bad habit of like shaking foundations. So I opened it. It's like this, by the way, it's like in a squeezy tube. I'm not mad at it. If you're the type of person that's like, um, I'm not trying to waste product, you know, you can get a scissor when you run out, cut it over here and you know, use the remainder of the foundation. So I'm going to squeeze it on my hand. Ooh, it smells like paint. Oh my God, I just got it on my nose. What the hell? So I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender and I'm going to start applying it to my skin. Okay, so on initial application, if you can't tell so far, it actually applies really, really nice on the skin. It gave my face like a very smooth texture. I don't have a lot of texture on my skin to begin with besides like my dry patches and things like that, but this doesn't look that bad. This looks really nice. Okay, 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 okay. I'm excited, I'm excited. So this foundation dries very, very, very quickly. Like, I'm dry already. My face is dry. So I think that I would suggest um, to apply it evenly or apply like one side and then apply the other side because if you're one of those people that likes to take it and just dot it, I don't really think I would recommend that. I'm gonna go in just a little bit with a second layer just because I wanna see what it looks like. 
So, so far what I have to say about this foundation is that it does apply very, very nicely. And as a person that has dry skin, like I said, I don't have a lot of texture on my skin, but I do have some dry patches. And I haven't had dry patches in a, in a while, okay? It's not the winter time, so we're not out here looking crazy. But I like to throw that in there just so you guys kind of get an idea of what kind of skin type I have. But um, it doesn't look too bad. It does not look terribly bad i do have a few small tiny bumps right here i don't know where they came from i think it's from the heat but i've been having them for like a while now you really can't tell unless you're like up close so with this foundation it does enhance that i'm afraid that if like you're the kind of person that has a little bit of texture on your skin or has a few bumps at the moment because we all go through that i'm scared that it might enhance that so right now you can kind of tell but besides that, the application was really nice and the foundation feels really, really nice. I'm going to finish the application of my makeup and I'm gonna do it in fast mode. So I'm gonna see how this kind of works with my makeup that I love to wear, usually with like any other foundation, and see if, you know, how it looks all together put in the face. Alright guys, so I'm all done applying my makeup. So, so far how I feel about the foundation is that it applied really nicely when I initially applied it. It looked really, really flawless on the skin. Like I said before, it did kind of enhance a few bumps that I have here on my chin, which isn't like too bad. It's not like too crazy, you know what I'm saying? But so far it looks nice. I think that it'll probably look a little bit nicer to like my liking as I wear it throughout the day just because I do have dry skin. But I feel like if you have more oily skin, I think you're gonna like this. But let me not judge it too quickly, obviously. So I will see you guys in a few hours and kind of give you guys a rundown on how I feel about this foundation. All right guys, so it is, maybe you guys can see the time, 9.23. So it's been like seven and a half, almost eight hours. I was gonna wait till 10 to make it like a full eight hours, but I am super tired. Um, I mean, honestly, I don't even know why I'm so tired. I took a nap. Oh, are my neighbors fighting? Okay, and I ate Chipotle but I'm so tired somehow. All right, so let me just give you a verdict about this foundation and how I feel after wearing it for almost eight hours straight and kind of like going about my day and stuff like that and doing things. I did go out, I was out in the sun, you know? A lot of it like rubbed off on my nose, but that's just like my fault because I was like touching my face a lot, which I have a tendency of doing a lot of the times. Okay, so what I have to say, my final verdict on this foundation is, on a first impressions basis, I can't say I'm fully in love, but I will say that I can see myself kind of falling in love with it, if that makes sense. I can't sit here and say, oh my god, this is the best foundation ever, you need to go and buy it. But I can't say it's bad or eh either. It's kind of like an in-between kind of thing. Um, I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see. It did enhance my smile line, so for a matte foundation, usually matte foundations do a pretty good job of not showing my smile lines, and here they are live and breathing but I also didn't wear any primer or anything like that so that's why you know could be why my smile lines are you know enhanced more than usually so that's kind of like a downside of the foundation when I first put it on I was a little bit worried because it looked a little dry on my face but obviously it's a matte foundation why wouldn't it look that way but then throughout the day it started looking nicer and nicer and besides like my smile lines and stuff like that it doesn't look too bad I wouldn't say it's like 
a favorite must-have foundation but it definitely isn't bad either I feel like I need to kind of work with it a little bit more maybe manipulate it a little bit with like a more hydrating foundation or something like that but I can't say that I hate it I feel like I'm not making sense like I'm not like oh my god but I'm not like ew don't buy this I'm kind of like in between about it but I see myself loving it in the future like if I wear it a little bit more if I play around with it a little bit more kind of find a primer that works really good with it I can see myself like packing this foundation as a like a go-to matte foundation if I'm traveling or something like that so kind of in between about this foundation and for a dry skin girl it didn't apply bad and it didn't look bad throughout the day either my skin here looks looks good it look, doesn't look bad it doesn't look drying it doesn't look matte it doesn't look hella drying but I will say that it definitely enhances any lines that you have on your face because I'm looking at it closer and right here on my chin I don't know I guess I was like going like this I don't know making weird faces possibly because I was eating I don't know it's settled into lines on my face so I will say that on that end it did not pass but I also didn't wear a primer so so again guys all in all I think the foundation it's pretty good. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's terrible. I think that if you have oily skin, I can see people really, really, really loving this. But if you have fine lines on your face or even smile lines, I don't know if this foundation would be the best. Unless you find a really good primer with it, I can see this foundation working. I can't say anything terribly negative about it, but I can't sit here and say like, this is the foundation, if that makes sense. So this is kind of an in-between for me, and I'm not mad that I purchased it because I know that I can definitely work with it, which I love about foundations that are easy to manipulate, easy to work with, and it doesn't make my skin look bad. It doesn't make it look bad besides a few of those problems that I mentioned before. So guys, this concludes this video for today this review for today if you like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you are not subscribed to my channel what are you doing please go ahead and subscribe if you'd like to and don't forget to hit the bell button right next to the subscribe button so that you are informed and notified when I upload every single week so like I always say guys thank you so much for watching until next time